Good evening. I'm Dan Kopp, a staff writer here at The Courier and Daily Comet, and welcome to your evening news briefing. Here are some of the stories you can read tonight at homeandtoday.com and dailycomet.com or in Thursday's newspaper. Companies bid less than 1% of the parcels offered in today's Gulf of Mexico oil lease sale. The lackluster response is a sign that a four-year offshore oil bust will continue, at least in the short term. U.S. News and World Report has ranked Nichols as the 37th best public university in the South. Nichols President Jay Clune says the university is often overlooked, but is in a, a remarkable place for teachers and scholars. Police and firefighters pulled a body from Bayou Little Caillou today. They have identified the body as 48-year-old Wilson Pellegrin from Berg. Police are still investigating but they do not suspect foul play. Thibodeau police say one of two suspects wanted in connection to separate shootings earlier this month has turned himself in. 30-year-old Brandon Frank of Homa turned himself into the Thibodeau Police Department on Tuesday. He's charged with aggravated assault with a firearm, and he remains jailed on a $250,000 bond. A second suspect, Jordan Dunbar, remains at large. Nichols State University's football team is halfway home when it comes to fall camp. The Colonels, who opened the season September 1st at Kansas University, will work out Thursday and Friday morning before Saturday's second and final scrimmage. For these stories and more, make sure to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us, uh, visit us at homeandtoday.com and dailycomet.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.